Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to do a video on uh, these Schlage Primuses that I got. Um, I saw a really good deal on them, so I just went crazy and bought a bunch of them, thinking that I could just find a key for them and then uh, find a pinning kit or something like that for them, and then, uh, you know, repin them and then be able to send them out to my friends or sell them or whatever I wanted to do, but uh, it turned out not to be the case, so um, I, I spread the word that I got a few of these to a few people and uh, sent them out to them thinking the same thing, and we're all kind of running the same problem, is that we can't find blanks. Um, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. So, uh, since I, since I'd made some trades with some people, uh, with these, I decided to, uh, you know, make it, you know, my charge to get these to work. So I don't feel like a ripoff artist or something like that. So, um, basically, uh, these are all, uh, EFP keyways. And that, uh, means that it's the EF Schlage keyway with uh, the Primus side bidding. Now, uh, that is, really difficult to find those. Um, I've, I've sent, you know, I've been talking to people all over the internet and they say that, you know, they're geographically um, restricted, meaning that if, if you don't live in a certain area, these keys are going to be hard to come by, if not impossible to get. And even if you live in a certain area, if, even if you live in the area that these are available, they're, you know, they're a pretty restricted keyway and they're, they're set more for, towards, say, like a industrial or a office building type it's not a um you know like an end user type of setup so uh so we ran into a lot of problems so i decided to kind of take the reins and uh try to make some of these work and sure enough it actually worked um <clears throat> oh by the way i'm reshooting um you're gonna see clips of me working on a, a primus and actually getting it working uh but the quality was horrible so i'm reshooting some of the intros and things like that so you can see better in the in the uh, video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these uh, lock and we're going to turn that into a working primus with you can hear the sidebar in there see the key and see the sidebar or the finger pin keys in it and uh, we're going to turn we're going to turn this into a fully functioning lock. So um, the first thing I had to do was figure out how to gut them because um, they, uh, I guess they were really intimidating to me. They come zero bitted and I didn't know what that meant at the time so now I do know what it means and so it means you can take them apart real easy because there's no, the, on the finger pins there's no wall on the front so basically all you gotta do is take this back piece off and uh, a lot of times these have been sitting for a while so a lot of times you'll have to rake them a bunch of times because with zero bidding, basically the key pin and the driver pin fits in the uh, plug. So that's why it's zero bitted because the shear line hits when all the pins are pushed down. But these seem to be a little gummy inside, so you got to rake them a few times. I already did that to kind of speed things up on the video, but essentially you just take the back ring off or if there's a tail piece, I have some with like Adam's right tail pieces and stuff like that on um, you'll take that off. There's a little pin in there, you know, there's a spring in there. And then now you got this Primus. And uh, now to get it apart, uh, like I said, I've already worked on this a little bit. Normally you'll have to take either like a like a rake or something like that and rake the pins a bunch of time. Maybe lube it and then uh, tap it on the table to get it to uh, kind of do what you want. So basically uh, you just push out, push it out from the front. You'll see it start coming out. Like I said, I'll show you all the pins are uh, at the shoe line. So what you're doing is you're just pulling out the plug, and you've got uh, all the all the pins, the finger pins are popping out the bottom, and that was really scary for me because I had no freaking clue where those were going to go. Then you got the springs. You got all six. One, two, three, four, five, six of your uh, regular springs. There's the other one. And then you've got the sidebar here, which when you release, there's two two springs holding that in. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm using a new camera, but anywhere there's a spring there and a spring there. So like I said, you just basically want to gut it and oops. Um, I'll just show you real quick the zero bidding. I didn't mean to dump out the key pins and the driver pins. <laughs> but anyway, the zero bidding just means that the key pin goes in, the driver pin goes in. 
you're at the shear line. That's how all of them are. So that's why it will just push out the front. Like I said, if you have trouble with it, you can um, you can uh, rake it a bunch of times just so those pins all sit down in there. But that's how they all are. That's how it's all pinned up. So it comes up the front, and then you can see here there's no there's no front uh, of the track. I don't know if you can see there or not. There's no front of the track for the uh, there's a track there for the there it is the track for the sidebar. Um, there's no front there, so you can just push it right out the front. So uh, I ruined the top of this. I don't know if you can see that, but I took a I did to remove that plate that they have like stamped in two spots to kind of hold it in place. I took a chisel and a hammer and broke it or you know broke it off piece by piece, and I screwed up the top of it. But then I just refilled it with another one. You can see. So anyway, that's how you gut it, and like I said, now you've got this huge pile of parts. It looks really intimidating, but it's really not so bad. Uh, it's pretty easy to get back together once you've done it a few times. So anyhow, um, this is the EFP keyway. It's just a gnarly little keyway. And um, the only thing I could get my hands on were e uh, C blanks, because they're a pretty common blank for Primus. And uh, there, was a, there was a gentleman selling these on eBay um, that I bought them actually by the pound for and I bought a couple pounds of these C, these C blanks and it actually looks like the same but if you look down the if you look down the ends you'll see there's let's see if I can't get a good shot here you'll see there's quite a bit of difference on there they're almost exactly opposite they've got the tall one there and the tall one there so basically all I had to do to make this work is knock down all the corners of, of this key and uh, I'm going to show you that now. Uh, here is me um, working on this key to get it to work in this keyway. Like I said, C has no chance in HE double hockey sticks to go in there. So I'll show you how I turned a C into an EF. Okay, so I've got the Dremel out. And like I said, you just knock down the corners. And I'm going to do that real quick just to show you. Um, it's kind of a trial and error, too. So. Uh, you just kind of got to knock them down, try it, knock them down, try it, and just keep going from there. So I'm going to start working on this guy. Okay, now I'm going to try it and see if it works. Nope, we still, we got it almost in now, so we know we're getting somewhere, but we just got to keep kind of working on these wards. Keep going on those. Now, uh, basically, you can look at the key. You know, you see it's going in there, and you can look at the key and see where your problem areas are. So the warding will leave a scratch where it, where it is, and I think I know what it is now. And I always I always put it back in the the uh, cylinder too to make sure it spins. And it spins. It's still pretty tight. I'm gonna knock it down just along this top edge here real quick and see if we can get it to fit nicely in there. There we go. Nice. Nice fit. Make sure it still spins in the cylinder. And now we've got our EFP key pre-cut. Okay, so now we got our uh, key to work, and sometimes they're a little bit tight. Uh, usually running them in and out a couple times will help loosen them up. This is a brand new uh, plug. But anyway, um, now that we've got the key to work in the in the thing, we got another we got another hurdle to jump over. Come on out there, you. Like I said, these loosen up eventually with some lube. Um, you got another hurdle to jump over, and that is uh, pinning it 
And I don't know if Schlegs have, or Primuses have a different pinning kit than Schlegs, but I actually have a Schleg pinning kit. And um, I'll show you. That for some reason, the pins all stick out just a hair. And I'll show you one all pinned up here. And uh, like I said, I tried to show you in the last video, but you can't really see it. But you can see that, um, like with this one, I went a size smaller and it was too short. And, you know, just one size smaller. And that one, I think, is going to be okay. But these all have to be filed down. So I'm going to show you that in this section of the video, how I was able to uh, create a shear line out of a bunch of mismatched uh, pins. Okay, so this one's actually not too bad. Well, the first one, it was horrible, but this one's not too bad. You can see those little bumps right over the shear line. So what I do is, is I just clamp it up my vise. So the, so the shear line is above that. And then I'll just take my file and make those flush for the shear line. Now you want to be careful because the key will kind of move in there too. So you want to make sure you're only taking off enough material to make it shear, to make it uh, flush with the shear line, not not like low below it, because then you'll have to start all over again. And you want to try to be very careful not to take too much material off the take too much material off the plug itself, because that'll actually make it easier to pick. My buddy Papa Gleb reminded me of that. There we go. We got a shear line for our key pins. Okay, so now we got a shear line, nice smooth shear line uh, with with the key in it. The next problem I had was the side pins are zero bitted, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, I'm going to use this just for another example, but I'll show you what the side pins look like now. Um, the side pins, if I can get a good focus on that, the side pins. Um, you can see you have little uh, walls on the side there. They're not walls, but they 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 kind of go um, up and down. You can see there's a little lip hanging over the edge on this guy here. Um, let's see if we can get a better focus. There we go, a little bit better focus. But you can see um, the 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 gates are not lined up because um, this one is set up to be all flat. And you can see now that some are up, some are down, some are up, some are down. And now we need to make all the gates on this work with the sidebar. So the sidebar will be able to retract and the, the plug will be able to spin. So I basically had to modify the pins one by one. Um, and I'll show you the video on how I, I got that to work. So what I do is I take something sharp. I normally use a razor blade, but all my razor blades are dull right now. And I'm just going to run it across the top lip of this and make a mark on those. And run it across the bottom and make a mark on those. Try to do it a couple times, make a good mark on it. Okay, so now we got a mark. And then I'm going to pull these out one by one. And to pull them out, you just pull the key back a little bit until it pops out. And uh, now you can see here, you get that spring in there, or you might be able to see here, I don't know if you'll be able to see or not, but you can see here where I scratched it, and it's just slightly over that gate, so we just got to open that up a little more. And to do that, um, like I said, it's just like a millimeter, if that, over. So what I do to make that work 
is I'll clamp the pin up. Sorry, in my vise. And now this is where it gets kind of easier to pick because we're making that gate just a hair bigger uh, than it would be. But we're saving about six hundred dollars, five hundred dollars on a pinning kit. So now that I see my line, I'm going to cut the gate with the cutting wheel of the journal. And like I said, I'm just going to make it a hair larger so it'll fit in there. Over. And now, you have to make it deep enough so the sidebar can slide a little in there. But now that gate, you, you can see I didn't open it that much more. But it just had to go up through that hair. And now I'll show you. I'll put that in there. And uh, push it down. Push the key back in. And now you can see that gate for that key, for that sidebar uh, sidebar pin. Now it will go into that sidebar. Now the sidebar will go in on that side. You can see it now it's it's going into that gate there. That's why it's popped up here. So now we got to do that to all uh, four of the rest of the pins. So I'm going to go ahead and lay these out in order so it won't be such a pain in the behind to put back together. But you can see it's now that gate's there. But I'm going to show you that it's still not just a gimme. You know, the, the sidebar still is effective uh, once, you, once you pin it all up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the rest of those and get that sidebar working. Yet. See, you can rock it back and forth here. Try to figure out what's going on. So it goes in there, it goes in there, so it's just a middle one. So what I'll do is some touch up. And I can see our culprit right there. You can see that number four's got a little lip on him. He's giving us a little lip. So let's get him cut down. All right, so there we go. It uh, fits in there, and the key spins, and we're ready for to repin the whole thing. We've got finger pins that work now. We've got a sidebar that works now. Now we're going to pin it back up, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here's a shot of the 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 pins modified, and I'll show you. It's just a slight modification. It seems like it would be a a giant modification but it's really just a really slight modification. I can try to show you the difference um, of a modified pin versus an unmodified pin. Okay so here's an unmodified pin. Um, you can see the gate on it is just in one spot. It's got a little lip in there that interacts with the uh, sidebar but you can see the gate on that is relatively large. And on, I'm assuming on a pinning kit they'll have this gate higher or lower depending on what size the bidding is. So that's a that is a uh, standard stock zero bitted finger pin um, gate. And here is the new gate that works with the keys that I got. As you can see, it's not a huge difference. I had to file down or I had to grind down the the center bar there which is going to make it slightly easier to pick, but 
you can see the gate only grew, and, and this is on pretty much all of them, but you can see the gate only grew, I mean, we're talking fractions of a centimeter, fractions of a millimeter here, you gotta get close up on that, so, I mean, side by side, and that's for a pretty drastic cut, so side by side, you're not looking at a, a very drastic change in the height of the gate, so setting it is not going to be that much easier, but it is still going to be a slight slight advantage, and it's not going to be as hard to pick as a Primus, but I mean, if you want something to get the feel of Primuses, I'm, I'm sure this would give you uh, what you need on that. So like you see, the gate is just only slightly larger, so not too bad. But uh, when you come out in the end with a with a fully working Primus, it's uh, it's and and plus all the work that you had to do to to get those running, it's just a great deal. So um, I think the rest of the video is just uh, coming out with um, is uh, putting it back together, which uh, is going to look like this when you're all done. You'll have a working key. You can hear the sidebar clicking in there. Uh, working key, and this is a Primus all pinned up, six six regular pins, and a sidebar. So. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so um, I went ahead and just filled the loaded the top pins, saved time on the video, and uh, I want to show you how to load the side pins. Side pins are really easy. Uh, they look really intimidating, but they're really easy. Uh, basically, all you gotta do is put the spring in the hole where the spring goes, and you can tell the side pin springs by process of elimination. Uh, there's two sidebar pin or springs. There are there are uh, five finger pins, so that means there's five finger pin springs. And then, you know, there's one spring in the back, and then obviously you have your uh, driver pin spring, or, your, you know, your, your pin stack springs. So what I do is I put the spring in, and I'll back up the key until that, that gap is open. Then I just take my fingers, because the, the finger pins are so honking big, and... Uh, Sorry, I'm doing this through the camera, so. And then I'll just put in the thing. So I'll just work my way through there one by one and do that. So now I'm going to pin up the key pins real fast. And you always want to try the, like when you're putting this whole thing together, unless you want to have to pick it open in case you made a mistake, you'll want to try everything separately. You'll want to try your finger pins separately and your key pins separately to make sure that you're not going to end up with a big mess. So I've already done that to save time on the film, but put your key pins in, put it in, make sure it turns, make sure your shear line is nice and smooth and all that stuff. And and then you can put your sidebar springs in, your sidebar, uh, sidebar in, and then you just put the whole assembly in there. So like I said, you've got, you've got uh, your six key pins, then you've got these tiny little springs here. Those are your sidebar springs. And they just go in the... Oops, they just go on the edge here. You can see they just go in, there's a little recess in there, those go in, so put those in. Oop. Alright, so those are in. You take your sidebar, you put your sidebar in. And like I said, here's a good point that you want to double check, make sure your sidebar is going to sit flush with the plug. There we go. Now let's give that a try. And there, it's working. Barely. There, it just needs to be loosened up a little bit. So now you can hear that clicking. That's the sidebar. You just put that spring back in, you put that pin back in, you push down on it. And then you thread this in. I might have to do some work on that key. I don't think that's the, I don't think that's the, uh, what you call it, dragon. I think it's just the key has a little bit of, needs a little bit more work. A little bit more fine tuning. It works a lot better. But uh, that's how you do it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you need me to go any, over anything better. Or if you get one apart and you can get back together. I'm, I've had so many apart. I've taken apart about infinity of these things now. So. I've got a whole, basically a whole pin, zero bitted pinning kit for Primuses. Which I haven't been able to pick one yet, but I've been working on making them. And like I said, I had to get these things running for my buddies. I traded them too, so I didn't feel like a ripoff artist. So anyhow, 
There you go. And just so you know where to get all this stuff, the Primuses, the Primuses I got from, uh, this is the eBay username, SpeedOps, it's S-P-E-E-D dash O-P-S, and they're selling the Primuses. So if you want to find these really cheap on eBay or any other cool stuff, uh, check out SpeedOps. And then the place I got the keys from, the the bag of keys, that, like I said, he sells them by the pound, roughly 40 of them comes to a pound, is uh, Go Doug Go is his name. Anyway, if you want to get some uh, some Primus pre-cuts, uh, Go Doug Go on eBay. Search his seller's thing. And he's got some really cool locksmith stuff too, so check him out as well. Like I said, this is what this is the end result. This is what you get uh, all put together. So, um, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And go get yourself a Primus and get it running, and, and practice picking one for the day that you actually find a real one. You can you can uh, know what you're doing there. So, thanks a lot for watching.